Welcome back to News 10 at midday. So we were talking about snow and ice that was a while back. Now we have to worry about flooding as well as some thunderstorms that we could see for our evening. Here's a look at the clouds radar early this morning. Some of that activity was just off to the west. It passed it off to the northeast. And now as we look at the storm team 10 storm tracker, there really isn't a lot picking up. There is possibly a few showers just southwest of Effingham for the most part, though, right here in Terre Haute up to Rockville, Charleston. All the way down to Robinson, just mostly overcast outside. Now we are kind of in between two fronts as this cold front starts to move through. That's when we'll have a good opportunity to see some stronger, severe thunderstorms of the potential, at least as we head into that. So that's why uh, the SBC has put us in a slight risk for severe thunderstorm. And you can see this with that 60 mile per hour wind gust as possible. We could get some flash flooding along with it. So this is what we are really concerned about, at least for us right here in Terre Haute and throughout most of the Wabash Valley and the timing of that system be close to 4 to 8 p.m. Tonight as that cold front starts to move right on in. Now we have these warmer temperatures that's going to help fuel the energy for those severe thunderstorms right around 57 degrees in Terre Haute, Linton around 57 degrees, Robinson just shy of 60 and I won't be surprised if we do hit that 60 as we have a nice strong southerly wind which is going to help boost our temperatures up for our afternoon and we've just been kind of on that ladder all morning long and into our afternoon. You can see this starting the 40s and it's making their way up to the 50s and it'll continue as we head into our afternoon once again. So we're talking about the wind, 16 miles per hour. Most of us are right around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Paris getting a southeast wind right around 20 miles per hour. We could get gusts all the way up to 45 miles per hour. That's why we do have this wind advisory. And that's through all the counties here in the red area. Uh, areas like Paris are in a uh, more of a wind, high wind warning. That's that gold region. But for us in this red, we do have a wind advisory. That's in effect at 7 p.m. until 7 p.m. tomorrow as that low pressure starts to enter, get a little bit closer, get stronger, and that will help with those winds. This become a little bit gusty too. So here's the future cast is at 8 p.m. This is kind of right when that system is going to be slicing off through to the east. Now, right before that, though, is where we have that potential for some stronger, severe thunderstorms. And as we see, it's just going to move off pretty fast by our Friday morning. Morning. Uh, we have a chance to even pick up some light snow flurries behind this cold front as those temperatures start to get a little bit colder. So as we head into right around 4 to 8 p.m., that is our best chance to see that severe thunderstorm and then behind it, possibly even some snowfall for your early Friday morning. Clears up by Friday afternoon, though, we'll be in the lower 40s once again. That's before a lot of that colder air starts to fuel in. And by Friday night, we could really start to see that become a little bit colder. We do have a flood warning, so all the rivers throughout the Wabash Valley with all this rain and the melting snow, that is a concern that we do have to worry about. So a one to two inches of rapid snow melt, additional one inch of rainfall from the storm, we can see that chance for some flooding. So once again, make sure you're wary of that. 61 degrees today for a high in that rain showers and scattered thunderstorms. 29 tonight, a chance for some thunderstorms continuing on. And then 43 degrees by tomorrow, a good chance to see some sunshine as we head into our Friday afternoon and still pretty warm. 43 will be pretty good, I think. Saturday and Sunday, 46 degrees, and then the cold air starts to move in. Those 30s are already back. 33 <laughs> degrees come Monday, 31 come Tuesday, 32 come Wednesday, 35 come Thursday. Today, what does this feel so good if we didn't have that rain? Well, it just seems like you can never have the best of both worlds. We Warmer need temperatures, that. but now we're going to have some rain. We're going to get that. I All promise. right. Thank you, Joseph. Sure.